Hey guys, what's up? It's me. This is the Volume 5 finale. So this is Volume 5, Chapter 14, Haven's Fate. Um, the thumbnail is Raven and Yang. Um, I'm a little afraid. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm, you know, I'm, I say I have like a healthy amount of being afraid here because, you know, the last place that we were at, their fate wasn't good at all. So I'm a mighty bit scared here. <laughs> okay, let's just taco do not. Right, right. Okay, let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. I can't keep procrastinating this. I have seen absolutely nothing for this. This came out two days ago, and I wasn't able to watch it, so I stayed off the internet Saturday and Sunday. And today is Monday at like nine in the morning. So let's just do it before I have to go to class. I'm gonna miss this opening. Oh, and my headphones broke. <laughs> So where we go, hope it's been desperate, all pets and purse, things looking like, yeah, they're bound to get worse. Okay, no, I just didn't have them bugged in all the way. I was like, no, there's only one earbud. What if I miss anything? Oh, shit. I hate when it does that. When you click on a window, it automatically, like, picks it full size, and it's like, no, thank you, that's not what I wanted. Tear up a limb, strike me with bolts aligning. Hopefully my audio is okay. I have my mic in a different place today. The seams of it. Oh, rip for an all. It's a miracle. <laughs> Those assholes. Show me no tears or pain will bring back what was gone. Ah, I'm gonna miss this opening real bad. I love this opening. I love it. Like I can't wait for the album to come out because there's so many good songs. But like I'm gonna miss this opening. That bitch. Oh, okay. 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 Here I am with my ninja clan, ninja clan, here we stand. That's right, bitch. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Mm. My girl! I'm going to make you regret ever coming back. You've said that before. More police are on their way, Adam. Huntsman too. Still too afraid to face me on your own. Smart enough not I'm to. Here for Haven, not you. Oh, huh? that is the most hurtful thing she could have said to him. Then you are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful friends while you've been away. Oh yeah. Is that alarm in the show or in Where? real life? Tell me, mm -hmm. does Blake make all of her classmates fight for her? Nah, it's a volunteer gig. <laughs> just saying, for someone who claims to have such great friends, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. You can try and make me regret coming here, Adam. But honestly, I've got more important things to deal with. Yes! That is the most hate, like hurtful thing she could have ever said to him, because he's just completely invested in making her life all about him. Son, wait! But he's getting away. We could take him. More important matters. No, we can't. He wants to lure us away so he can pick us off. We need to protect the school and the people here. Hmm. Besides, now he can see what it feels like to run away. Yes. Thank you. I, oh, my girl! Oh, shit. I think there's a few people. I mean, you can just. Uh, oh, wait. Did this, did this happen Be careful. before she ran in there? No promises. Oh, my God. It's a, it's a parallel back to the first time they met in volume one with the slow pass. <laughs> Beedrill's fucking okay? pissed. Surviving. <laughs> I don't know how that big guy's still standing. He recharges his aura faster than I've ever seen. 
There he is. That boy. We just need to get him to his limit. Is Austin still there or is it Oscar now? Chomp. I was wondering where he was. Ugh. Ooh. That's a really cool effect, but god damn it. Uh. Are you hurt? N no. <gasps> I just remember you being more of the quiet one. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's the plan, Ruby? We need a miracle. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I lo I'm loving the orchestral version. Check me! The freak you are you fucking kidding me? Yes! I was just talking about this the other day. I gave you every opportunity to walk away from Crow and Oz. So you can believe me when I say this wasn't personal. You open the vault. Thanks to the chaos you and your friends caused upstairs. I knew you could handle it. <coughs> My daughter, after all. Crow and Oz told me how the maiden powers were transferred. The girl you found. She would have had to have trusted you if you were in her final thoughts. Cared about you a lot. Oh, shit. I'm sure they told you plenty. And you just Did sat they and kill obeyed. her? No. I'm starting to ask questions like you said. So tell me. Who was she? What happened to the last spring maiden? Ooh. Did she die in battle? Was it sickness? Oh. I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How could you? She was scared when we found her. Weak. No matter how much training I put her through, she never learned. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did wasn't personal. It was mercy. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful or are you a survivor? Ooh. Did you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? It's Ooh. not that simple. Kind of is. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. You're right. I don't know you. Because you were never there. I really know the Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated. But she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Did you kill her too? Oh. I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, Are shut you? up. <laughs> you don't know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run Ooh. away when things get too hard. You put others at harm's way instead of yourself. Ooh. You might be powerful. But that doesn't make you strong. Yes. Who do you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Yeah, I'm scared. But at least she's- But I'm still standing here. Ugh, oh, that's a good line. I'm not like you. I won't run. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem! Oh. And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back, imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. Ooh. She'll come after you with everything she has. Or she could come after me. And I'll be standing there, waiting for her. Scared, but still standing there. You don't want to do this, Yang. Nope. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Ooh! Do not. Yeah. Me too.
That looks like the place where in the volume four opening Blake fought Adam. <sighs> that looks so cool! What the? Wouldn't it be safer just to close the door again and leave it there? Mm. Mm. Oh. Can we have an Oz Pin Leo conversation, please? Something you wish to tell me. It was Cinder. She altered the plan. Huntsman showed up here. Crow. Several students. One with the silver eyes. White Fang attack it was stopped. I, I don't know that they'll be able to recover the relic. <sighs> Your Grace. I can oh. still be of assistance. No, you can't. If I leave now, I, I can avoid the authorities and come find you. I'll do whatever it takes. No, you won't. This is pr <laughs> Too late. Disappointing. Coward. <laughs> Just drive that cowardly lion imagery. That's enough. <sighs> Just give up. <laughs> it's not over. Cinder will come back. She'll have the relic, and she'll stop all of you. Uh. She won't let us down. We'll wait for that. Yes. That's right, bitch! Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. Okay, they still have the relic, so that's something. Distant what? divide. What was that? Salem. An illusion. But an accurate one. <laughs> that was Salem. <laughs> this guy. That was like seven minds at once. Oh boy.
Go talk to your team! Surrounded up the remaining White Fang members. Haven is safe. Unfortunately, it <laughs> appears that Adam escaped. It's okay. He was the only one to escape tonight. Those in the White Fang that followed him won't support a leader that abandons his people. He won't have their help after this. He'll have no one at all. And the White Fang will be left divided. We've been fighting amongst ourselves for too long. Perhaps uh. it's time for a new brotherhood. A new family for Fauna's truly working towards a better world. Balilana's again? And they'll need a new leader. <laughs> yep. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That works? Come on, Blake. Come on. Wait, does, is Yang's arm there? Can she like, get that back? Because I feel like that would be handy. No pun intended. What happened? She ran. I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal was dead. And Draven? Gone. Well, we're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. Mm. Uh, are you okay? No. I feel like I should be asking you guys. <laughs> so, Blake, what are you doing here? Uh, I. I was gonna ask you three the same thing. Uh, Still no good at conversation. That's a long story. God, what song is this in the well, background? I'm not going anywhere. Mm. That's all that matters. Mm. That we're all here together. Right? You're lost. You're found. Your heart to pin down. Yeah. I never know if you come through. There's no heterosexual explanation for this. <laughs> Uh-oh. You okay? I'm all right. Kid. He's resting. Too much energy fighting. Oh, hey, is it, don't strain yourself. No. He had a message. We must get the lamp to... Oh, that's where we're going next. The lamp, light of knowledge. Oh, wow. Oh my god, it's the symbol for Haven, too. The relic is the symbol of Haven. Oh, they're gonna have to go back to Atlas. Weiss is dad. From shadows. Same key, but more uplifting. <sighs> uh, yeah, Jen Taylor. Shout out to N, Lee, and Aaron Wynn! Ugh. Hey, Rachel! Huge props to the camera and layout artist team, by the way, because the previs on this was really, really good. Um, I always, like, it's really interesting seeing the shift in Ruby how it was kind of more like a video game setup, and now it's a little bit more cinematic in the shots, and honestly, it adds a lot to this, and I need to rewatch this like 400 times, because, god, that scene was so good! <laughs> Shout out to Gio Coutinho and Sean Stephenson! You guys are awesome! God, everyone did such a good job! Assistant lead animator Cam! Woo! 
Asha Fishy. Oh, Millie! We miss you, Millie! <laughs> I miss you. Ah! <laughs> uh. That's a bop! So proud of Yang. She's done such a good job. God damn it, she's done such a good job. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to like figure out the words for this. But like there's there were elements of from Shadows in the Beginning and now it's time to say goodbye vibes. Yeah, rise up from that is gonna do it. Ruby Rewind. I actually haven't seen Ruby Rewind yet, and I need. I'm probably gonna marathon those once I'm done with my current animation assignment, because that's the, what I'm live. What I live for. Okay. Uh, Path Isolation Mirror Mirror point five. I was wondering where that would fit. Smile, ignite, the triumph, which just ye all things must die. Is that the one with, uh, I think it might be the one with this time, so this is uh, from Shadows Part 2, so this is that song playing right now. And All Things Must Die, I'm guessing, is, yeah, All Things Must Die is with Cinder and Raven, and then All That Matters must be when they all meet up again. I'm scared for like what the what the teaser is gonna be because sometimes the teasers are more intense than the actual like finale. Because I I like that this was watch this cat's Ari and Skyler. Um, I like that the ending is very. It's following the patterns of the first three volumes where it was like oh yeah there's a huge there's like a fight there's something happens but ultimately they can come together and they take a minute as like a team just to kind of recuperate. And then there's always something at the end that's like oh. <laughs> uh. God, I cannot wait for the soundtrack to come out. I'm gonna listen to it nonstop. Patch. Sunflowers. Raven. Mood. <laughs> Ooh, coming soon. <laughs> but yeah, it was like Nomad of Nowhere from Nowhere. <sighs> Genlock! They <sighs> took the concept for this. Set to go to field trials? I didn't say to drop him in the middle of a city. As soon as they figure out what he is, they will come hunting. For him and for you. Given what we're seeing here, I believe you can stop worrying about Chase as much. No. No, I think I'll keep worrying about him a little longer. How's he holding up? Still mm. adjusted, but full of surprises. We were very lucky to find him. I'm digging the style. But what about others? How's recruiting? Uh, problematic. There are some new possibilities, but we may need to Madrian, get more flexible. Edith and Claire McLeod. These are the only matches? They'll have to do, won't they? I don't see how we're going to turn this around. Oh, don't give up hope yet. We're just getting started. McLeod intrigues me. Ah! <gasps> oh, wait, shit, it's this year? Nice. 
that was so good. That was so good. That was real good. Mm. <laughs> so like, the Volume Four's finale really pulled on your heartstrings, but like in a way of like, because it, it was Ruby's letter to Yang, and I think it's in a way it's almost kind of not, it hasn't come full circle, but it's nice that since. I don't even have words. I'm just, I'm really happy they're finally all back together. Like, granted, we won't, like, see them functioning as a team until volume six, which, you know, it was gonna happen, let's be real here. Um, but I'm in, I want to see how things have changed, and then I'm so proud of Yang, and I'm so glad that this focused so much on Yang. Um, ugh. She did good! She finally got to talk to her mom, she finally got to ask those questions that have been plaguing her mind since she was little, and in the end, she was the one who walked away from the situation, ultimately. Like, Raven flew away, but... She was like, she didn't want to do that, she didn't want to have that conversation, but she finally understood why her mom left her. And I think she understands, like, more so than she ever thought before, that it wasn't a result of her doing, because even if she didn't... If something like that happens, you tend to blame yourself. And I feel like in that situation, like, she finally got the confirmation that it wasn't her. It was Raven being a coward and a fool. And... I do love the whole thing that Yang still says, just like... Because Ron's like, here you are, a child, like, like scared and shaky. It's like, yeah, I'm scared, but I'm here. Which is, like, such a jab at her. Not only because it shows that she has become stronger than what she used to be, just always rushing and heading. Now she can think about this and process it and handle it the best way that she knows how. But also that's a jab at Raven because while Raven may have been scared of raising a child and what that could mean, she left. She left. If she had stayed there, that would have been one thing, but she didn't. So Yang finally got the answers to that question. So like, I feel like that book ended that, and that makes me happy. Cause that, that's a nice resolution for that, I think. And I love that, um, I love, 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 love that Yang was just- that you see it like after that whole confrontation, she grabs it and then she just collapses sobbing because that's hard. Doing anything like that that takes that much emotional strength is draining and painful and when you feel like your gut has plummeted through the floor and ultimately all you can do is just sit there and sob because there's nothing else that you can do. And I love being able to see that and I'm glad that they had to like fade out her crying because if I had to hear Barbara Dunkelman cry in like full force, I would have lost it myself. <sighs> And then I'd like to take a moment to appreciate Blade Belladonna. Which is like my whole life, honestly. But <laughs> just all he wants is to make her hurt. That that's all he wants is to make her life entirely about him and control her life and distort her life and her reality to what's nothing but emotions that are complicated and twisted about him. So for having her, for her to look at him, it's like, I'm not here for you. I'm just like, this isn't about you. Those are some of the most painful things she could have ever said to him, and I love it. Because, like, their relationship is an abusive one. At its very core, Blake and Adam is an abusive relationship. And it's really interesting seeing how Blake is recovering from that. Because it's very important to show those kinds of, like, those kinds of things. She understood that it was a problematic relationship, so she got out, but he did not let that happen. And sometimes that happens, and sometimes that doesn't. And she still felt like she she still felt like she needed to run. She wasn't dealing with it. She was running from that feeling. She wasn't sure how to handle all of the emotions that came with it. But now that she slowly she took the time to go home, she went out into the wilderness essentially, and took some time and was like, "This isn't about you. This is about like I am more than what you've done to me." Uh, there's I think I've quoted this before, but there's um, an artist who has a quote name that just says, "I hope you look at me and see the ashes of what you failed to destroy." Or something, something along that line. And I feel like that is definitely Blake at this point. She's like, yes, I'm still scared of you. I'm not going to invalidate my feelings and say that I'm not scared of you because I am. Because I've seen what you can do. But I'm not going to let you control my life anymore. And I love it. And I love that she's like, it's her turn. It's his turn to run. Like, that was just like... Air horn just We're like that was well done. I'm very glad that that was a thing. And then R.I.P. R.I.P. Dad Belladonna's free time, I guess. <laughs> and it's good that the White Fang isn't gonna follow him anymore. So they knew that since he was gonna kill all them, they were like, yeah, no, fuck you, dude. We, no, no, let's not, let's not do this. Um, I'm trying to think. 
So Hazel grabbed Emerald. So I still don't think Cinder's dead. I don't think Cinder's dead. Um, I doubt it, but I am a little bit concerned that with that parallel, maybe Cinder's last thought was at Emerald and that at one point she may like throw her head back like that again. It'll be like a maiden thingy. But um, God, the thing with Salem was like, it had it had Nekalave vibes. Uh, I had Knuckles vibes. Uh, and it was just like, on inhuman movements with like the sort of elastic arms and just like the cracking and it's like no thanks I would like to never see that again in my lifetime um and Blake has a lot of catching up to do uh because she doesn't know any of this shit um <clears throat> so Ospin is resting I guess which is a weird thing and everyone needs to go sleep for like they need like one of those giant ramen parties again just to catch up with Blake do the whole thing over again but include Blake in it and let everyone rest <laughs> um just oh why is his reaction she was just like I remember you being the quiet one that's so good of me I'm very happy I'm very passionate about this <laughs> this entire episode is just basically just like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and Ruby's just like, oh god, that was just that was just so good. That was just good. I don't I don't really have like anything else to say. I'm just like freaking out because it was so good. And I'm smacking my headphones. I don't even need them on anymore. Ah, but they're just they were so good. It was so good. Ah, I need to watch that 400 more times because that conversation that was just a really really well done conversation. The writing on it was very very nice. It was a very nice, not so it was it wasn't like a complete resolution, but it was a very nice like. I don't have a word. Closure, I guess, but not completely closure. Um, it was good, and I love it. And I want to take a moment to thank Kirby, because I got to meet a lot of Kirby at um, RTX, and you guys were awesome and fantastic. And, like, this was so good. I actually really, really like this volume, because, like, volume four was good. I felt like there was a, like, it was a lot of emotional focus, but, it, like, a lot of stuff didn't really happen. It was a lot of setup, kind of like how volume, was, well, no, volume one, volume one was. And it was, and now this is kind of like the volume two situation with it as well. So it's like kind of building up and I'm scared for the next one, but so they're going to Atlas next. But also I want to take a moment to point out the designs because I think it was interesting. So Haven, what is that beeping? But uh, Haven, the logo is that lantern. The fucking relic is the logo of the local, the logo of their fucking continent or the school at least, which is just like, they could have been a little less obvious, but it leads me to wonder, is it the same for all of them? Is Was Beacon's Relic like two axes or something along that line? But like, ugh, like how are they gonna keep that safe? Also just like the fact that Raven didn't think that through all the way and Yang was like, you're, you're stupid. You didn't think that through, you fool. Just, ugh. Mm. I have a lot of emotions and I'm not sure what to do with any of them right now. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, Raven, Raven is like, she's running with her tail between her legs. I mean, I don't think birds can put their tails between their legs. Can I? But metaphorically speaking, and just, uh, that was good, and I'm excited to see all that. I'm excited to see all of the friendly team angst that's gonna come from Blake of just like, Hey, I've like I know that for the most part, like, cause Yang gave her that look of I'm not mad at you right now. Like I like she understands why she did what she did because she was kind of in such an emotional place. But I think that's gonna be one of those things like with Weiss in Volume One where like you're like oh yeah I'll do better and then immediately like no because like people go back on their words sometimes and sometimes that's not even like meant to be the case. I just think in Yang's case she'll just be like all right right now I'm just glad you're here. But in about 13 hours once we've all slept we need to have a conversation here. <laughs> And it's interesting because I think a lot of the conversation that Yang had with Raven was directed at Raven, but a good chunk of it was also directed at Blake. Because Yang has a lot of abandonment issues and I love her and I'm glad that she was able to confront some of that. And so hopefully they can like work that out with the team as well. And I'm worried for Weiss and going to Atlas. Um, I also love how comfortable that Yang is, which is, I'm still I still love her lizard moment from 
volume uh, the episode before that was just good and I'm just I love my girls and I'm proud of them and back to Kirby anyway um, you, like like everyone on Kirby did such a like such a good job like the fight scenes are this were really nice I'm glad that they're incorporating the environmental stuff in because that's like my favorite thing with fight scenes and people use the environment and so like that wasn't really a thing much lately which makes sense because you know like you're in a forest you can't really pick up trees that much but like doing a little little bits of stuff like with the falling rocks in last episode was so awesome Kirby did a great job and the comp team did an amazing job uh, which reminds me, if any of you guys get the chance, you should check out Brian Art on Twitch. He worked on part of this, um, this part of this volume, and he's really great, and you guys should hook him up. Um, but everyone did such a good job, and it was just awesome. And like, shout out to Kim for making it to assistant lead animator, and shout out to Millie. She recently left RT to work at, I think it's like Illumination or Sony something in Canada, but she did some work on this, and like, everyone did such a good job. The previous was great, the animation was great, all the cleanup, I can't even imagine all the shit that had to be wrecked because there was a lot of new shit so r.i.p sean and geo um <laughs> but everyone just did such a good job and it was just such a good episode and it's like ah, everyone did really good and it's really good and i'm happy and it was good and i'm like ah, ah, i need to go to class <laughs> but it was really good and i really enjoyed seeing this episode and i think it was a very nice end of volume five like i'm not like crying which is a nice change um I'm not- I was- I cried at the end of volume 3 and volume 4, so this is a very nice change that I'm not crying right now, but it's like, it was- it's nice to have that kind of more... mellow, but also, like, it, it's less of a, like, a emotional bookend and more of like a- it's- it's like a- it's a nice sigh of relief. Sort of. I can't word today. I just can't word today. Uh, before I go, I want to thank all you guys again. I'm almost at, uh, I'm at like 11.5k on YouTube, which is crazy because I was just at 10k and I want to thank I want to thank you guys because a lot of this was because of you guys. Um, and I'm sorry about the PO box, I can't check it until March, but I am really scatterbrained right now. I'm still thinking about that song uh, from Shadows Part 2 is really good. I also love that I was like, I was wondering if they were gonna have to do Mirror Mirror Part uh, point 0.5 because it technically comes before Mirror Mirror and it's not Mirror Mirror Part 2 because it's like Mirror 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 Mirror, mirror Part 2. Um, it's my turn. And this life is mine. So I guess that goes before it. So the path to isolation, mirror, 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 part two. So, okay. I still think it's like that they put mirror, mirror, part point five. I like, I find that very funny. Like, they, they were gonna have to, but I don't know. I just find it funny because I don't know. I, I, I just find it hilarious, frankly. Um, I'm excited for the soundtracks. I cannot wait to listen to Smile and Ignite on loop. And I can't wait. I need to do volume five Yang so I can get lines from that and cosplay it. And I also need to bring back my volume, my time skip, Blake. And I need to do more Ilya pictures again because I haven't got, done those yet and I love my girl and I'm proud of my girl and she's done a good job she's a good girl she's a good wizard yes <laughs> that's a thing I just said I'm gonna go because my brain is in mush and I need to go to class well I hope you guys have a fantastic week um I finished up my believer AMV so that's gonna be up uh, a week from today because we won't have a Ruby episode I think Ruby Chibi's coming back soon but so that'll be up uh next Saturday probably. I might put it up earlier just because I'm really excited to see your guys' opinions on it. And then after that I'm just going to be putting up things like extra streams and uh, uh, longer episodes with the Doki Doki Literature Club on Saturdays. And hopefully I can listen to you guys and I do the cool stuff that's going to be released for Ruby Volume 6 at RTX this year. So hope you guys have a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed the finale. I don't know what you guys thought of it and I will see you later.